Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing a shop or drop where I go through Trend Moods Instagram, but we have a couple other accounts that we're looking at today. And I tell you my thoughts on the newest makeup releases and whether or not I will be shopping for them or dropping them from my shopping list. So if you wanna talk makeup, talk releases, then just keep watching. It's been a while since I've sat down and filmed this. The last time that I did it, it was on a live, but today's Thursday. Jose and I are going on vacation tomorrow. It's a shorter one. We leave tomorrow night and then we leave Wednesday afternoon to come back home. So it's like a four day vacation that we're gonna get, but I'm excited. It's probably our last one for a while. Anyways, you don't care about that. <laughs> Let's get into it. I'm gonna start off where we left off a couple weeks ago from my last shopper drop. And a couple of you guys asked me about the M Cosmetics So Soft Collection. This came out July 22nd, so it has been out for a while now, but I know a few of you did ask me about my thoughts on this and as tempting as it is I feel like I've recently just added a lot of cream blush sticks to my collection and to me this one doesn't seem review worthy I don't see myself having the time or wanting to review it so I'm gonna hold off I do think that down the line if I ever placed an order off of M Cosmetics I would probably pick one or two up just to test the formulation but I am not in any rush to pick it up so I am going to be dropping it from my shopping list. One thing I will say about M Cosmetics is the products are so thoughtfully done. Everything is so great quality from the company and they do a good job. So I don't doubt that these aren't an amazing formula. These are going to be $30 each and they come in six soft neutral to vibrant blushes and four bronzing and contour shades. I bet you they are gorgeous and I have trouble saying no to a good contour stick, but I'm gonna stay strong this time. We're dropping that, but in the future, it might be something that I pick up. One Size, which is Patrick Star's brand, is has come out. Came out a couple weeks ago. These are the Base Butter Silk Concealers. As of now, I don't need to add any concealers to my collection. I haven't really picked up too much from One Size since the initial brand launch. I think the products that I've tried have been very nice, but not a brand that's really on my radar to review at the current moment. I don't, I don't think I've heard about this, but it is something that does pique my interest a little bit. It because I haven't had a good concealer at launch in a while and I've been using all of my old concealers which is probably a good thing so I feel like I would probably pick up this concealer if I went to Sephora just this sounds bad but just to buy something to add to my cart but I again I'm in no rush to pick it up but it definitely does pique my interest enough to where I think you know when I'm on vacation and I force Jose into Sephora with me I would probably buy this I like to buy makeup when I'm on vacation at Sephora it just adds to those memories I like pulling out the palette and go, I bought this when I was in so-and-so. These guys from NARS came out at Ulta. These are the cheek quads. There are two. There is Orgasm and there is Torrid. I'm a sucker for NARS Blush Cheek Palettes, but I've seen another one that we'll talk about later on in this video that definitely catches my eye more. For me, I don't think that these are something that I'm interested in, so I'm going to drop these from my shopping list. Mm, I just don't need them. They aren't unique. They don't have any cool embossments, and while I do love my NARS Cheek Palettes, it's, this isn't something that really catches my eye. From what I see, it looks like most of these are already pre-existing blushes. If not, they have already been released in the past. So they're cute. And if you're short for blushes and you like the NARS formula, I think these are really nice. But definitely for me, I have no interest in picking it up. So these launched on Jacqueline's birthday, actually. She came out with the Pamper Prep and Pout so it's like a lip balm and a lip scrub. The lip treatment was $20. The scrub was $18. You could get the kit for $29. This came out a couple weeks ago on National Lipstick Day. I did not pick it up. Lip scrubs and all of those lip treatments have really become very popular in the last year or so, but I don't need it. I have so many other lip treatments. I tend to gravitate towards color products, if I'm being honest. I feel like I am well set in a lot of like prepping, and moisturizing areas. So this one 
one personally did not grab my attention, so I will be dropping that from my list. By the way, my makeup's looking a little bit rough. Um, I'm doing an Ilia Beauty wear test, so this makeup is not fresh, and I don't want to touch it up. KVD Beauty came out with these liquid gel contours. I really am hoping the best for KVD Beauty. I'm very happy that that foundation that came out a few months ago did so well for the brand. Again, with the gel kind of cream products that I've recently picked up a lot of. Another one I'm not rushing to pick up. These already are long and gone, out in release. They're available at Ulta right now. <sighs> I don't need another one. It's a brand that's not really on my radar. I'm watching, but nothing I'm really too tempted to pick up, if that makes sense. Kylie Cosmetics released her 24K collection for her birthday. This came out a couple of days ago on August 10th. Pers Personally, I was not very interested in it. When I did my original review of the rebrand of Kylie Cosmetics, they didn't put eyeshadows in the relaunch and I said I wasn't sure if I was going to continue purchasing from the brand and the collections, but that I was curious about the formula. This palette is pretty, but it really doesn't scream out to me if I'm being honest. I passed on it. It doesn't excite me. Her on the packaging just isn't my cup of tea personally. I don't know. I'm not as into it. It doesn't really excite me. I have colors that probably already look like it. And there are other things in the collection as well. But I mean, really what I was gunning for if I was to get anything would be the eyeshadow palette just so I could test the new formula. But I'm dropping that from the list. It just didn't catch my eye enough. Same thing, same story. Beauty Blender launched these Bounce Liquid Whip Cream Blushes. Not a brand that I'm interested in enough to even think about spending my own money on it. These do look very pretty. I really like those three colors that are lighter. The fourth one probably would be a little bit too deep for my skin tone. Looks cute. Sure, they're nice. Actually, you know what? Beauty Blender's makeup is a little bit hit or miss for me, but I'm definitely dropping that one. I'm not so interested in it. I don't need another one, and it's not even from a brand that I even pay too much attention to. Okay. We have an exciting one, ladies and gentlemen. The Super Nudes Collection by Charlotte Tilbury. I believe a couple of these items are re-promotes. Like the eyeshadow palette has already come out. I believe I have it in my collection, actually. I'll have to pull that out for my review. A couple of the lip shades are also re-promotes. I believe that eyeliner is a re-promote. But you guys know what I have my eyes on. It is that quad right there. I love my other two Gasm palettes from Charlotte Tilbury. So this is a new one. The formula on it, it's a bit questionable. Not the greatest formula, but I just love the colors. I found myself reaching for them all the time. So I will definitely be shopping this quad. I'll take a closer look at the shades that are in here when the time comes. But I don't know, I feel like a couple of the shades are re-promotes and then a couple of the shades will be new. So I might pick up the new lipstick colors and the new Nudegasm quad. The rest of the collection that I already own and has already been launched in previous times, I obviously won't be picking up, but I'm really, really excited to get and review that Nudegasm palette for you. It, it definitely sparks joy for me, which a lot of times releases in the summer really don't. This is kind of a lull of makeup releases, so I tend to slow down a little bit around this time of year so they're not as exciting but this one definitely definitely excited me. Colourpop launched this Y2K collection and I actually got a part of it in PR today. Nothing in this collection really speaks to me. If I'm being honest the Colourpop collections recently I've had little to no interest in. It's a shame I got added to their PR list and I was so excited because all of their launches were so cute and then I feel like right when I got added to the PR list then all of the collections just weren't exciting for me <laughs> not because I'm ungrateful but they've lost their spark I feel like so I didn't get the whole collection sent to me I got sent like a portion of it so there are three eyeshadow palettes that came out luckily they sent me the prettiest one the purple one <laughs> so yay for that so I have this new millennium purple palette there's these just a tints, hair ties, face jewels. What are you? Oh, a plumping lip gloss in this color.
Okay. Well, they sent me the purple stuff, so that I am, yes, I'm very happy about. We have a good super sharp shadow. This looks really pretty. It's like a purple one. And then they sent me the purple highlight. So I got the purple as part of the collection. Uh, so thank you, ColourPop, for sending that my way. However, <laughs> being 100% honest with you guys, I would not have spent my own money on this. So it would be a drop for my shopping list. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I don't know if I want to play with it or give it away to somebody. But yeah, I did get that. But I wouldn't have gotten it had it not been sent to me. Not my favorite collection from them personally. Not as into it. This is weird. I thought this was a Too Faced palette. But come to find out, it is a Morphe palette. The Cherry Coke. Which honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like tempted just because my dad loves Cherry Coke so much. But dropping this from my list, I absolutely don't need it. But it looks exactly like a Too Faced palette would. I literally thought it was Too Faced and I was like, interesting. I mean, the colors look extremely boring. That's another reason why I thought it was Too Faced. Um, yeah, dropping this from my list, but intriguing at the fact that it just, it literally looks like Too Faced palette, which is good for Morphe. I mean, that means they're up in the value here. We're coming towards the end. I don't have too much to talk about, really, you guys. I told you not too much newness comes out, really, this time of year. But there were a couple of new the, the sneak peeks, I suppose, that came out today. So this one was one of them, the Naked Cyber Palette by Urban Decay. Does this look like the Carly Bible palette that she did with ABH? That is what it reminds me of. I really am not sure if I will pick this up or not. It looks like there's a couple duochromes in here, which I'm intrigued by. Honestly, like I'm not in love with it, but I'm also very intrigued. I'm considering picking this up. It's been a long time since I've bought no, that is a lie. I bought the Wild West palette that just came out. I just lied to your faces. But before the Wild West, I really don't have much interest in reviewing their naked palettes. And can they just drop the word naked? These are not naked palettes. But anyways, I actually think tentatively I'm shopping this. When does it come out? Coming soon. I also want to see swatches first before I decide as well. So let me know. It's This is up to you guys. If you would like to see a review on it or if you don't want to see a review on it, you don't care, let me know in the comments down below. I just need to see if it's going to be worth my time, obviously. But I'm leaning towards shopping it. It looks interesting. I like lights and pastel -y kind of shades. It is different from what they've come out with. I'm intrigued. Not gonna lie. I don't know if I'm excited because it was just sneaked today and I need to sit on it, but I'm interested. The last, it's not the last item that I'm talking about, but the last item on Trend Mood that we're talking about is this Huda Beauty Obsessions Wild Collection. Now this is going to come out on the 17th and you best believe I will be shopping these. I'm very interested that palette on the top right is calling my name. The bottom left, that green one, is intriguing to me as all. Well. It's not calling my name like the top right one with the deep, cool smokiness, but the green one also is intriguing to me. The one on the bottom right, the warm yellow one, that looks like all the other palettes that have come out in every other collection. Top left, the more berry one. <laughs> okay, okay. No, I'm interested in these. Huda Beauty is a brand that I review regularly. These palettes are palettes that I review regularly. I always get a little bit of hate because so if I say they're not good, I say all of them are not good because they're not as good as the regular formula, but some that have come out have been really good. So I like to let you know what formula you're getting here. So I will be getting these. I will be shopping them. I think as a consumer, I probably would have only picked up just one, but of course as a makeup reviewer, Definitely expect to see these on my channel. I'm really excited. I believe I will be out of town still by the time this launches. Yes, but I will make time to make sure that I order it. So that is definitely a shop. I'm excited for those. The one on that bottom right though, she's done that before. That's the only one where I'm like, come on. But other than that, I'm actually very excited and I like that Python print that they have in the center. Super cute. She always finds a way to just make special touches that makes the palette feel more unique. Okay, I did want to talk about one more item that is not on Treadmoo 
reviewed, but it is on Makeup World News. And it's the reveal of a holiday palette that is supposed to come out from NARS. Now, so it looks like this. This is going to be the holiday NARS palette. And this is what I was talking about. Like these palettes excite me. Even if they all are the same colors, this palette excites me. I love the embossments. It looks like it's from me. There's a formula, which is pretty good. So I will be picking this up, shopping this one. Is it the most unique? No. If you purchase NARS palettes and the cheek palettes every holiday, do you need it? No. But do I care? No, I want it, so I will be shopping that. All right, you guys, that is all I have to talk about for this time's Shopper Drop. Let me know your thoughts on these items that I talk about. What will you be shopping? What will you be dropping? And that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one.